Hello, marhaba. I'm Jonathan Shannon, head of the music program here at NYU Abu Dhabi. I'm pleased to welcome you to the final concert of the third edition of the Manifold Festival. I'd like to take this moment to thank the Arts Center's sustaining sponsor, GAC, as well as their media partners, The National, al Had, Abu Dhabi World, Yellow Magazines, and Time Out Abu Dhabi. Thank you. A special thank you as well to all the staff and crew of the music program and the Arts Center, who've worked so hard on this event in the context of an unprecedented online season. While you're here with us, if you've been appreciating what the Arts Center has been doing, please join as a member and keep supporting their great work. Go to the NYUAD Arts Center website now for more information on memberships. The Arts Center has a lot more events coming up, including Theatre for One, Here We Are, a live digital theatrical experience that brings together one actor and one audience member to watch one of five new micro plays, which speaks to the times that we're in now. Theatre for One runs from April 7th through the 11th. You can book your free tickets now on the Arts Center's website. Do so while seats still last. And now for tonight's performance. I'm thrilled to present New Sounds for 2021, an innovative mix of music, dance, and video featuring artists from the NYU Abu Dhabi faculty and community. I'm sure you will find it fascinating, engaging, and stimulating. Directly after the performance, please join us for a conversation with the artists, Christina Yohan, Kyori Kawai, and Emil Sain. Thank you, and enjoy the show.
so much for joining us for the last concert in our Manifold 2021 series. We're incredibly thankful for your presence here this evening and we don't take it lightly. For more information on upcoming uh, performances, festivals, and workshops from the Art Center, please head on over to nyuad-artcenter.org to learn more. Please put your virtual hands together and help me welcome our artists from this evening in a question and answer panel. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us uh, for such an incredible end to Manifold 2021. We're incredibly excited to have our artists here with us this evening, joining us for a question and answer panel, uh, where we'll start off with a couple of questions. And we'll also have time to ask the artists some of the questions that are coming from the audience who's joining us from all around the world. Uh, so we'll get started now. If you could go around and just introduce yourselves and tell us who you are. Um, I guess where you call home and um, you know what excited you about uh, the performance this evening. So we'll start with uh, Kiori. Okay. Hi, I'm Kiori. Um, I'm a, a dancer and choreographer and uh, making uh, um, this uh, film uh, with, uh, with the visual manipulation uh, with uh, using the software that uh, Aaron Sherwood created. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, I'm living in Abu Dhabi now. Uh, Thank you so much, Kiori. Um, Emil? Hello, uh, good evening. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, presenting uh, the deals and for uh, our uh, public online. I'm a performer teaching saxophone in NYU Abu Dhabi, and I enjoy the contemporary music and the music department teaching students for different uh, nationalities. And, uh, and uh, 
try to to take away mix or uh, contemporary music. It's our uh, dream to play every day or to perform uh, this type of music. We say mixing music or uh, art or syncretic type of music. Thank you so much, Camille. And last but certainly not least, uh, Christina. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us tonight. Um, it is with a really great pleasure to be able to um, do this concert. And actually, this format, uh, it's perfect for presenting our view of you know, uh, the pieces that uh, we have performed tonight even though they were recorded, but I think it's, it's, it's a perfect setting. And as always, you know, it's good to look into the positive sides of uh, what we are living. Um, so why not take, uh, take a chance and uh, try to explore um, new possibilities of making music? Because this is what, what it's the most important thing right now. It's to do uh, what you love and continue uh, in these difficult times that we are, are living and then this um, will keep us positive and hopeful that um, actually with this experience we can increase um, our notion of what can music be. That was beautiful. Thank you so much, Christina. Um, and I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Thaddeus Stagall, and I uh, serve as an instructor and producer here in the music program at NYU Abu Dhabi. Um, and as we get started, we ask that uh, those of you who are joining us online, if you could uh, place them, if you have any questions, please place them in the chat box, and we'll be sure uh, to get them to the artists. Um, so I guess my the first question that I would have for you all is kind of what was your inspiration uh, for putting together this concert this evening? Anyone feel free to jump in. Christina. Uh, well, uh, we had uh, our, our first idea was to try to uh, have a, a concert uh, that we could actually be in person playing uh, in the same room. Uh, but since the uh, evolution of, of this all pandemic this we've been working on this project for quite some time and we had to make some changes um, to to be able to keep this concert happening um, so we looked through our repertoire we looked through what uh, we could do we still wanted to have um, this idea of uh, joining Kiori uh, and uh, Aaron having working together um so we we shifted we were flexible we were trying different um pieces and um and then we all came together to 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 make this let's say a new concert <laughs> happening so yeah. fitting that it's uh, entitled new sounds for 2021 sorry go ahead Kiyori. Oh, no. So, yeah. Um, so first, um, as Christina said, uh, when we had to change, shift to um, our way of performance, um, I was looking into my old uh, dance footages <laughs> that, uh, okay, what could I use? And then talked with uh, Christina and Emil, what the concept of that uh, music uh, that uh, because uh, Christina and Emil had to record themselves that uh, they are playing and then uh, they sent me at uh, their recorded footage music footage and then I'm gonna put the, uh, the find some uh, my dance footage to how the concept can match with that music uh, and then how that the uh, visual can match together with the uh, program software program that the Aaron created so it was a uh, quite uh, uh, 
interesting process to work with uh, Christina and Emil uh, through online. <laughs> yeah. Did you have something that you wanted to add, Emil? Okay, um, just, uh, I think we start to play together or to work together two or three years before and is the second uh, our event and uh, maybe we will try to to make another style of of, uh, of concert or or a performing mixed but i think it's one of the, the we say avant-garde sometimes but online it's a little bit uh, different no than live music you feel different the music now no and uh, watching it's a little bit uh, strange but this is our goal no uh, and our style of performing and individual we try to 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 build a, a concept of the the multimedia you no know? all the part of multimedia like a sound like a dancing like a choreography like a like a, a, a different part of video or the sound or something like that you no know? and i think it's one of the the, the how to say it, one of the a good way in uh, New York University you now to demonstrate uh, our idea about uh, this type of music because uh, it's a little bit uh, difficult, no? Same for public, for uh, same for technical uh, a, a problem in online, no? Our sound, our style of dancing and video and all, no? I think it, but uh, thank you uh, for uh, a, a very, a very nice uh, sound and all the image. Thank you. It means the art center. <laughs> Yes, definitely shout out to the Art Center uh, and their wonderful technical team for all of their hard work in uh, enabling us to, to share our love of music. I think one of the things that you brought up, Emil, uh, kind of blends very nicely into to my next question um, that I'm, you know, really burning to ask you all. Each of the pieces that, that were um, on display tonight blended um, kind of different forms and crossed so many barriers and been blended so many different mediums of expression. Amazing, an amazing experience to see the different ways in which we can express ourselves uh, using different mediums. I guess one of the questions that I have with uh, something so complex and so multi-sensory, uh, where do you all start? You know, do you, where do you start with the process of bringing all of, the, all of these different uh, mediums together um, and how do you kind of put it all together? Same like uh, Christina, we decide uh, maybe three months before about our style of repertory, you know, and try to to find um, a special style of music. Online is difficult to assimilate or to for thinking about what's happened in the in the film is different than emotional, you no, know, than. Uh, than life, no? And we decide a different style of, of pieces, no? And uh, more attractive for uh, public sometimes. I, 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 I choose another piece for one of our, I'm from Romania, you remember, or the public, and one of the best composer passed away uh, a few months before and was Octave Nemescu and I dedicate uh, uh, music, maybe I'm the second uh, performer play this type of music or the Besantibirikon, sorry, <laughs> and uh, was my teacher Daniel Kensi first playing this, and I'm the second, and was uh, on right for this uh, this composition. Um, I, I can stop here because <laughs> our conversation can be <laughs> no limit. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Yeah, maybe what can I uh, I can say about the process is um, Curie was uh, actually mentioning this a little bit earlier. So um, me and Emil choose the repertoire uh, and the pieces that we thought uh, could um, bring to this concert um, a different uh, would give a different approach to the contemporary music and open more space for interaction like uh, dance and multimedia. And um, 
also another thing that also Emil mentioned that we know each other for quite some time and uh, I was fortunate to also to work with Kiori in another show um, produced also by the art center Jean and we worked together and we had time to know each other and even to improvise and so uh, when we decided to do this concert together it was not like from zero we didn't knew each other and when you say you know each other it's not uh, just uh, know who you are it's like knowing your work uh, knowing the per perspective you have on, on music and musical ideas and artistic um, image so I think it just worked um, we worked together sometime even without talking to each other mm -hmm. because I think when uh, we send the videos to Kiori um, she felt exactly what could be better to do for the music with uh, her choreography and then also Aaron um, how to do um, the video manipulation so I think now Kiori if you want to add something <laughs> Yeah, uh, so for example, that the first piece that the Christina's uh, flute piece that the Christina told me at the where that music come from is uh, from the, the like a uh, mummy over Mexico, mummy um, um, in the desert. And then so I was uh, remembering that the, oh yeah I have some dance footages that I did uh, practice in the Riva desert um, that uh, with my friend who is also a filmmaker and a, a movement uh, researcher uh, Sarasi uh, we went to the Riva desert and then I was practicing at the moment falling so falling to the ground uh, let the gravity takes our body into the ground on the river desert. So that practice footage is, uh, uh, was uh, I thought, oh yeah, perfect for that uh, concept of <laughs> Christina's piece actually. And uh, uh, as I talked to, with Emil, Emil um, for the last piece, Meta, um, that uh, Emil told me that, uh, yeah, this concept is uh, uh, Meta, Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. Yeah, <laughs> metamorphosis. <laughs> and um, there, there is a series of the piece that uh, I'm doing since 15 years ago that uh, it's called the birth that uh, from uh, spandex uh, bug, from the spandex bug as a cocoon to slowly coming out from the cocoon with uh, sunrise. So I have done at the many places in the world, sometimes forest, sometimes des desert, and then one of it I did at the fossil dune in Abu Dhabi. And then, mm -hmm. okay, Emir, metamorphosis. Yes, I have actually the perfect uh, dance, my dance footage for that. <laughs> so, so that's how, yeah, that's how I started to uh, manipulating the visual and then um, putting the uh, visual together. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Wonderful. Thank you all for sharing. And so we've had, we have some questions that have come in from the audience. And so we'll, we'll jump into those now. Um, this question is for, from, um, and excuse me if I mispronounce your name, charge it to my head and not my heart, um, from Radhika Ion. Um, and, the, and their question is, what would you improve about this project or this concert? So, sorry, what did you? Oh, yes. What would you improve about the, the concert or the project of New Sounds 2021? Well, this was uh, just the first time we're doing this type of concert. So, of course, um, I think it's just you know, an opening. It's, there are so many more things to explore. And, um, for example, the repertoire. Uh, already existed so the piece that I uh, presented the first piece um, written by Cristobal which is he's a NYU alumni and I knew him when he uh, was here studying still and um, 
I, I really enjoy working with composers because um, I, I want to explore as much, uh, as much as possible the voice and the flute together. And um, with Cristobal, we had a, a very nice process of changing ideas. And then uh, he wrote this piece and then together we help, I, I helped him to um, improve some parts and make it work even even better for flute and voice. Um, so what I would I would say that we could improve in the future, uh, I would actually just like to explore even further the work with composers, uh, thinking already uh, of having the pieces written for this format. Mm. That could include multimedia and dance and um, more, more aspects. Of, of performance in, uh, in my case sorry <laughs> uh, I think uh, like a musician or Christina and me Kiori, sorry yeah. <laughs> we can finalize example our music or our piece like a hundred percent of our idea or idea of the composer it's like a, a finish of this but improving or finalize more than hundred percent emotional with Kiori dancing is uh, our own video and all of this complex I think is more important and more interesting. This is our idea about syncretic concept or multimedia. No, it's not just music. Live music yeah, we can perform. I think excellent. For composer, when we have a, a different relation with composer in the normal, normal stage or concert, no, but we give you like a public more uh, uh, emotional ideas about our concept of music. This is my idea about our concept or our improving in our uh, style of concert. Thank you so much, uh, Emilia Christina. Do you mind if we move on to the next question, just to make sure we get to all of the questions? Awesome. So uh, our next question is from an audience member by the name of Stephanie Smith Waterman. Um, and their question is, how do you think this project reflects our current situation? Sorry, you could tell one more, please. Yes, sure, no problem. How do you think that this project, uh, New Sounds 2021, current uh, reflects our current situation? Okay, Christine, I will start. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, well, I, I answer. I, I would think maybe Kiori, would you like to also say something? Yes. We didn't have time to say anything for the last question. Let's start with you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Um, well, for me, it's just for me. Um, um, I usually perform with the live music, and then that, at that moment, the sound that the music uh, come from a musician takes my body moves in the same place, and uh, um, such a it used to be such a concentrated moment that we share together on the stage, but this time from, uh, uh, from uh, the material comes from uh, different places. And then in order to make, uh, make it together, I'm gonna put myself into uh, the state by listening again and again and again, see, watching again and again and again. And that actually gave me a different, um, different state of a different way to connect with a musician, different uh, way of uh, approaching to sharing the moment. Um, so, um, that's definitely reflect this current situation. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, for me, as uh, with uh, to compare to the, the how I process uh, toward the performance and then how, yeah, how 
this current situation is uh, uh, doing for me. Yeah. Thank you for sharing with you. So I think I think for me the way uh, it reflects it it's um, a little bit like Kyori mentioned. Uh, all my concerts have been on stage and live and with a uh, public, uh, and that you can feel that you can feel when they are watching you the energy, and then. Um, right now this uh just happened when when we were all watching together the video um the moment of the the, the performance but when we were preparing it um it really felt like yeah it was something a little bit like i miss the fact that we were not together in the same room working i could not uh, see kiori's movement you know, when i was playing um, but at the same time, um, I'm happy that there is a way uh, and we found a way of, a way of making music and uh, giving, shifting, uh, a little bit our ideas and, um, trying to penetrate in a, in a different, um, atmosphere and in a, in a little bit different world, <laughs> but still connecting. Uh, ourselves and thinking about each other and how could uh, Kiori or Emil uh, react to what we are doing? Mm -hmm. Sometimes just through thoughts. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, that, I mean, that is a, uh, a, an interesting way to connect kind of the, the current landscape of the world that we're living through uh, with the creative process. And I think one of the one of the questions that I always am kind of intrigued by as an artist myself is thinking, you know, does art imitate life or does life imitate art? Um, and so thinking about, you know, what that interaction looks like through this pandemic that we're living through. When I think one of the one of the things that you brought up really leads us uh, nicely into our next question. Um, and this question is from uh, Bill Braden. Um, and so Bill's question is looking at some of the things you are able to accomplish in the multimedia and site specific realm tonight. Once in person performances are possible again, is this a mode of performance making you would continue? Um, and what aspects of it would you want to, to bring to in person performance? Ladies Thank first. You. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, as always. Thank you. And thank you, uh, Bill, for this very interesting question. And um, definitely, there will, will if, once we are in person, um, we would like to continue this kind of performance um, and rethinking uh, how this could be done. Actually, uh, in I think in Manifold Concert 2019, if I'm not mistaken. Um, also in one of the performances I did with uh, Carlos and um, we also had uh, Kiori and um, we tried to, to accomplish a little bit this uh, multimedia um, and uh, in, improvisation and performance and everything but I, uh, after doing this concert I think um we could take we could take it on stage of course with uh changing some things maybe um Aaron is not here so i think also he he is like the the hidden person but he's his work we were able to see it because he did the magic of um putting Kiori dance in such a beautiful way in our videos. Um, so um, I think he, he is also like a key person here um, and definitely in, um, in our concerts, um, this would be something to, uh, to definitely have in the future. Okay, sorry, uh, Kiori. <laughs> 
Bill, thank you for uh, excellent uh, support, not just today. I, uh, I have uh, experience of two or three, four years before with Carlos, with all the composers, our team in the music department. We are happy to have a, a, a good composers and they, they support us like a musician and we can uh, follow our style of performing, means mix arts. It is very important for our music department. It, one of important is music technology. We have a best here composers and best in technology in New York University. Our own multimedia and I, I cannot give names, sorry. <laughs> But we are happy to make this type of the concert and to follow. But one more, I, I, I think we need life style of, uh, of performing. We can, we can uh, perform another style using different style of, uh, of, of uh, how to say, no, just the multimedia, uh, electronic or something like that, no, develop all the, the sound or the video, or something like that. I think we can, we can develop many projects in this type of, uh, of uh, our style of playing or the concert. Mm -hmm. so, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so bring, bring it to the in-person performance. Um, well, I, I wish we can bring the Riva Desert into the stage, um, but uh, that's, uh, that's pretty hard. Um, although, um, definitely the using technology for the sound effect for the visualization of the musicians, visualization of the dancers, um, dancers' movement, musicians' movement into the sound flow um, for this uh, um, site-specific uh, performance in Abu Dhabi is a very, um, for me, it's really connected uh, aspect using uh, technology into the stage, um, bring the nature of Abu Dhabi into the stage, yeah. That aspect I definitely interested in to bring in. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. We have time for one more question, and it's just to our benefit that there's one more question from the audience. Um, and so we'll take one answer on this one. You all can decide who answers this one. Um, are there aspects? And this question comes from uh, Fatima Al uh, Romati Romati. Um, the question is, are there aspects of online performances that can be considered more powerful or impactful than live performances? Hmm. <laughs> okay. We can have one or two responses. Okay. <laughs> like musician, Christina and I, we try to decide before our style of performing. It's not just thinking like a musician, but thinking in our audience, you know? And we, we try to create day by day a public, our public in, uh, in our style of performing. We say contemporary music dance, and it's contemporary avant-garde style. But I think we, we decide for our, in my opinion, for our audience together what will happen in the in the next concert we we try to to balance not just uh, technology because when you you create a public you need you need this public in the future not just today you cannot uh, how to say you cannot uh, 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 play style of music without our style of performing means like a musician we are, we serve the music, I serve the music. And I try to, to balance my style of performing together with uh, Christina or together with all our team in this type of uh, avant-garde music and dance and video and multimedia. 
Thank you, Lisa. First name, you want to answer? Yes, uh, just something very quick. Um, if there is one thing that could be more powerful is um, like Kiori mentioned, to have a desert, <laughs> just with such a powerful image. And when you're on stage, um, as a, and then also as a, as a public, uh, you're all the time attracted to see the performers. And sometimes you lose a little bit of the image and of the sometimes even the dance of what's happening. You all the time try to look and connect to just to one place. And then when everything is together on a screen, uh, it's easier to catch the whole image. So if there is something more powerful, I would say this. I would say it's easier from the uh, from this perspective, from the uh, public point of view, to catch everything and to make uh, make their own image of it, and not just try to like on, on the performer, the dancer, the video. Maybe there's more time for curator. I, I, I agree with it. <laughs> 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 or yeah, have... yeah. <laughs> right. Awesome. Well, thank you all so much uh, for creating space to share your perspectives with the audience this evening. Uh, thank you so much to the audience for joining us. And, you know, once again, thank you so much for sharing and bearing your creative souls with us this evening and uh, each and every time you, you share the gift that you have uh, with the world. So we're incredibly appreciative of your hard work. Uh, congratulations on a job well done. And thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. And we hope to see you the next time around. Thank you so much, Tadeusz. Thank, thank you, Tadeusz. Thank you. And to, thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.